Hello everyone, my name is SkyfighterZX and welcome to another video. Today I'm bringing to you a kelp farm that I made in my survival world. So I thought I'd share the design, so I hope you enjoy. So to begin with, you can see the kelp farm here. It's just a small aquarium and it's styleable. It's powered by the observers watching the kelp grow. And there's an automatic part of it where I just spawn mill the kelp make it grow super fast, so if you have a bone farm it won't be a problem to feed it from you and you can get tons and tons of kelp for fuel or whatever use you have. And here I am in my survival world, as you can see I build the farm. It's not straight, it's like room shaped, so every module has a 90 degree bend, so you can see this farm can be squished in tight places. So here you can see the side of the farm can see there's the hoppers and the repeaters that power the dispensers. There is the hoppers filled with the bone meal that make the, the kelp grow, the pistons that break the kelp and up here there's just the flowing water that pushes the items to the collection system. So now I'm going to show you how to build it. It's not that hard and as I said the design can be stacked. So let's go. To begin with I'm using this wood as a platform and you're going to place Dispensers facing up like so, you can place as many as you want Like this, it has to be dispensers not droppers, so make sure you get it right And back here, you are going to place two hoppers facing into the dispenser like so And now, I'm going to place the, a row of hoppers facing above the back hoppers like so This is going to be the input system for the bone mill and I'm ca I can actually break this one because it's the last one, like so. And now I'm going to place decorative blocks. These will be visible if you use glass like I did, so make sure you choose something you like. And this will cover the hoppers. Now on top of these decorative blocks you can place the pistons that will break the kelp, like so. And again with another or the same decorative block. It's up to you, at the back of the pistons like so. Now, below the farm, you are going to place two rows of uh, decorative blocks. This may or may not be visible, so it's your choice. And now below the farm, I'm going to place repeaters pointing into the whatever block is below the dispensers, like so, with redstone below. No ticks or anything, just plain repeaters powering this block that will power the dispenser to speed bone mill. Now I'm going to start making what I like to call the aquarium. So just go, I'm going 8 blocks tall here. Uh, I think you can go a little bit more or you can do less if you want. So in this case I'm going to do 8. Match it on the side, like so. And I'm going to mirror it on this side, it's exactly the same. And now I'm going to make another row in the front, but this time I'm going to extend it all the way around. So now that, now that is done, I'm going to place more glass at the back, like so. In this case I'm just going to go far tall, because on top of this glass I'm going to place the observers. Again, you can make it whatever size you want, but use this as a reference. Now I'm going to place the observers facing outwards, so the little red dot is facing to the back of the farm, like so. And you can see the little oops, observer faces are looking inside the farm. Now I'm going to place a row of decorative blocks on top. This is just to hold the water back. And make sure it's a block that you like because it's visible. Now, by accident, I placed the extra row here, so make sure that the front row matches the observer height, like I did here after I broke them. And now I'm going to go two blocks out and make a ring, like so. So, observer, space, glass, space. Now I'm going to temporarily block the observers, like so. Because we are going to place water and we don't want the water to go down, so... This way the water will flow 
to the opening in front, which I made a mess, but we can take the opportunity to place the, our collection system, so just place hoppers where the water is flowing, and this will be where the items will go once they get flushed up by the water stream, so now we can go ahead, see that it's flowing into the hoppers, we can break this, temporary blocks, you can use dirt or whatever, now just break them and the water should flood the aquarium, and you can see it did, so now it's time to go for a swim, so just place the kelp on top of the dispensers, like so, this is the best way I found to feed it bone meal without it losing wheels, so so, in the back we can go ahead and place some decorative blocks below the observers, like so, in a diagonal, and we can grab some redstone dust and place it uh, behind the, the observers, like this, they should connect, and in the last one I'm going to, uh, not here, I'm going to make a, a small observer tower that will bend the signal downwards, Send the signal downwards into this the top of these blocks like so. This will power the pistons, so just make sure it reaches all the pistons like this. And every time there's an update, it will break the kelp, flow it up. So every time the observer detects a kelp growing, it will just flow up into the collection system. So now it's a good time to make sure your, your farm has a roof. You can match this, this roof design to wherever you have in your survival world or something. So, just go ahead and make sure the farm has a roof, so that the items don't go flying up into the sky. And this basically makes the farm complete, it's uh, like passive right now, but we are going to automate it with the bone mill now. Now I'm going to place an input, this could be anything like a hopper, chain of chests or something, just make sure you can fill it with bone mill to the brim. And Warning, this will take a while to fill all the hoppers because they are quite slow. Maybe it's not the best way to do it. If you find another way to adapt this design, go ahead. And they will eventually fill all the way up, back up, and you just need to wait a bit. So now I'm going to make a, a way to activate the clock. I'm using a button, but you could use a lever. I'm just being a bit fancy here with a stick piston. I'm just going to make a transform the signal from the button into a, a constant system, a signal, so it will basically work as if it was a, le a lever, uh, like so, and I think I need a block here, yeah, just like this, and it should work now, when I press the button it should activate the clock, like so, and you can see it's, it's just spitting bone meal everywhere, press it again and it will stop. So this is basically the entire farm working, you can see the items were picked up. And this is basically the entire farm complete, so now I'm just going to extend it to show you. And just like this, it's big, it's uh, basically infinitely stackable as long as the chunks are loaded and you have enough resources to make it this big. It, making, it, making it into a straight line is not the prettiest, but in my survival world you could see I made it like 90 degrees bending around the room and you can see everything is working fine it's a bit laggy because there are lots and lots of pistons but I can just deactivate it now you can see, let me just activate it again make sure everything is working and you can see all the items are making their way up it's going to take uh, some time to the, for them to reach the end but you can see this farm is stackable. And you can see also there are some modifications here and there. This is just because I needed to extend the signal. You, you can see here, I just placed repeaters here and where are, there are repeaters I could not make the farm work in that module. So every 15, I believe it's 15 uh, modules, you have to sacrifice one, but it's not a big deal, you can see here. The signal goes all the way down. In, I'm actually noticing this one is kind of wrong. Yeah, it's one block off, so 
yeah you can see everything is in line there so every 15 blocks you can you need to extend the signal and sacrifice a, a module but it's not a big deal so this is the farm i hope you enjoyed i hope it was helpful for you if it was please make sure to leave a like comment down below your experience and consider subscribing and i hope to see you guys in the next time bye bye